family, Silly Grissy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Scream Sorority Part 5 and in the last part we had a little bit of a cliffhanger because this bear, this creepy as bear who is now walking downstairs, oh no, uh, kind of disrupted these two on the bed getting a little bit flirty and I was really really enjoying reading all of the comments. I think there was like 1,100 comments which was epic. Um, epic. <laughs> epic is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and half of you guys was interesting because you guys were saying, oh my god, Elki is being such a tart. You know, how could she be getting with all of her sorority sister's boys? You know, this is Taj, Romy's boyfriend, and also Valentina is into Taj, and she just doesn't care. But then she's getting into Corey, and oh. Taj is like somewhat embarrassed <laughs> and you know what then Corey comes up and kisses her this girl is kind of you know she could be tardy but then but then at the same time a whole heap of you guys oh my god she's totally toilet papering you know she goes from one guy to the other kisses Taj kisses Corey Tisha kisses Taj that is my friends what we call the toilet paper effect but yeah half of you guys basically think she's a bit skunky and the other half think you know what you go girl you go, girl. You just go kiss all the boys you want. Good on you. <gasps> oh my god, such an evil bear. He's like laughing. I thought we could have a little bit of fun because, you know, Eccleslie is really insecure. You know, she was bullied a lot by Nadia growing up and uh, she always wanted to be in the sorority to the point where she gave herself a makeover to move in and fit in, got contact lenses, dyed her hair blonde, changed her name. And really the only way she can feel secure about herself is by stealing others' boyfriends to feel like she's as good as the other girls. And hopefully by one day being the sorority leader, being like a Nadia. So, you know, I reckon these boys could easily take advantage of her is what I'm trying to say. So I'm thinking we'll get Taj to go up to her and maybe invite to stay the night. What? Holy moly. Oh, he must have been really angry about Corey, uh, you know, kissing her. Well, maybe this is like their weird bromance revenge. I don't know. Let's get, uh, let's get him to change his outfit into nude. Yes, that is available. It's not a mod. It came with The Sims 4. Uh, I think it was Get Together. Where'd she go? Did the girl just leave? Don't have left. Please don't have left, Elki. Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, oh, damn, we need him to calm down a little bit. Hmm. Maybe, you know what? Maybe Corey's going to have to do the work, okay? So we're going to get him to give her a very passionate kiss. And we'll get Taj to come sit down here and relax, you know? Uh, we want him to feel much more in the mood than he is now. So let's get him to change his outfit into the mood. That's better. Uh, there we go. Perfect. And oh, it's getting hot and steamy up here. Let's uh, take this downstairs, shall we? Let's go sit and chat in here with Taj while he's eating his burger nude. Ew, these guys are skeezy, sleazy boys. <sighs> hey, Elki. Uh, 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 uh. Let's just go for the first kiss, maybe. I don't know. This might really make Corey angry. I don't know. Ew, they're like all nude. Gross. Oh, ew. Yucky, yucky. Well, I'm going to leave them in here. Chad, you can get out of there. I don't want you involved in this. Uh, there's only room for three in there, if you know what I mean. And no, no bear. Come back. Oh. Let's uh, get the bear upstairs. All right, I'm going to leave Elky. Uh, in here with these two and we'll just leave them up to you know their their own uh their own resources maybe okay something's definitely going on in here oh okay oh wow okay well that's what's gonna happen in this room so i don't know i feel uncomfortable let's just leave them to their own oh chad i would not have walked in there oh my gosh she's like why did i have to see this my two best friends 
Meanwhile, upstairs, it looks like this bear has done a little bit of uh, decorating with these blue playful decor mood lights. And it looks like the bear has also made him or herself a nice uh, drink and a drink for someone else. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's gonna grab that drink, but I don't think that- Oh no! Chad! Never take a drink from strangers! Oh no. Don't drink it. Uh-oh. And, uh, this bear is, you know, gonna, gonna, I guess, try and make friends with him. Okay, no worries. Yes, put it away! Oh no, he's drinking it. He's done. Oh my gosh! What is he trying to do? Okay, I, I think this bear has a little bit of a plan for Chad. I feel like Chad's feeling pretty good after, after having his drink and they're gonna get along pretty well right now. I just don't want Chad to finish that drink because I feel like this might be the beginning of the end for him, especially with this crazy bear just being like, hey, I'm Yogi Bear, being all goofy. Oh, maybe they're not getting, getting along too well now. Oh no, Chad looks happy. Gosh, he's so handsome. Uh-oh. Oh no. After finishing that drink, he's feeling a little bit hysterical and uh, he's hysterically cleaning up. Okay, I think the bear should definitely take control here and be like, yo, Chad, and uh, be a little bit silly. Be a little bit silly. Or maybe Chad's gonna come back upstairs. I'm not sure. We'll see. This pet does seem a little bit evil though. Whoa, dancing real fast time. Okay, Chad's back. Chad is back. Okay, let's go over here. Let's get the bear to maybe uh, impishly pester him. And oh my gosh, he is getting down and dirty. Uh, oh, and he is struggling a little bit. He's like, oh, it's just too much. Uh, Chad, maybe in your hyster- <gasps> Oh no, oh no, oh no. Chad, Chad, not the Chad. Oh God. Yeah, good time for the bear to leave. He's like, oh yeah, my plan worked. Victory dance. Oh Chad, what a handsome man. And what a sudden death. It's so upsetting. Uh, maybe the bear, oh my gosh, Grim is already here. Oh my gosh, he's like, good job, mate. What'd you get this one with, hysterics? Oh my gosh. Goodbye, Chad. It was nice knowing you. I reckon the bear should definitely flee the scene. So let's just get the bear down here because I just feel like the others are going to know what's happened here and the bear should not be seeing this. <gasps> oh, Chad. It's so devastating. Okay, the, the bear's bailed. Corey's like, no! My best friend, the Chad. Can we plead for him? Oh, too late. Oh no. Goodbye, Chad. You will be, you will be missed. And alas, there goes another Sim. Corey seems kind of devastated for this one. Not as devastated as he could have been, but you know what? He was busy getting it on with his friend and another girl from the sorority. Like, hello, you should have been paying some attention. I guess the bear's feeling a little bit of remorse too. Bye, Grim. <laughs> you know what? Now's not the time to uh, to be listening to music. Now's the time for remembering. Oh, Chad. Oh my gosh, Nadia is going to be absolutely devastated. That's for sure. Let's get Taj up. Let's uh, wake him up and maybe mourn Chad as well. Because he probably, he probably heard all of the, uh, what's it called? All of the, I keep thinking catastrophe, commotion. <laughs> He's like, oh damn, I'm so hungry. You got any mouthwash, any mouthwash, man? Taj isn't even upset. Oh, now he's upset. All right, Corey's done crying. He just wants some alone time. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. Oh my Chad. Well, you know what? I might switch over to Ecclesley. 
wherever she is. I, uh, I, I'm gonna go check on her. Okay, so Eccleslie's downstairs and I feel like she's just, she's just feeling embarrassed from the whole thing. I don't think she's feeling very good about herself from being with both guys at once, so I don't know. But if we get her to go upstairs uh, and see what's going on, I think she's gonna get a shock about Chad, uh, the death of Chad and all the commotion, like. It's just really sad. And maybe for Corey, <laughs> woohoo in closet. Um, maybe ask for reassurance. Like she doesn't, she doesn't seem to care that much. I mean, she kind of cares, but she's more self-absorbed than really worrying about the death of someone else. She would rather feel better about herself. And that's why she's going to ask Corey, was what I did in the bedroom okay? <laughs> okay, that's enough Elkie. Elkie. God, I keep calling her Ecclesley. She's like, I'm so sorry, Corey. I'm so sorry about your friends. But did I do okay? He's like, yeah, 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 you're all right. You're all right, isn't it? You're fine. <laughs> She's like, yes, excellent. Uh, well, maybe it's a good time for me to leave. I reckon let's just go home, Ecclesley. Go back to the sorority house. This is just awkward. And plus, you don't want to be a suspect, you know? Uh, or is she? Da -da -da -da. Who knows? But I will resume once she gets home. All right, back at the sorority house. Ecclesley is heading home. She's changed her clothes. Uh, you know, so hopefully she's feeling a bit fresher now. Um, but I don't know. Are the girls up? Oh, yeah. No one sleeps in this house. There's always someone up. And we might, uh, we might get that replaced. Uh, but she just, you know, maybe we'll just get her to go upstairs, go to her BFF, uh, BNFF bed just here and just hide from everyone. Because I feel like she's like, oh no, what happens if the girls find out? She's just, she's embarrassed. So she can go in there. Meanwhile, Nadia. Nadia's up at 4.24 a.m. She is on to it. But you know what? She's got some really bad news coming for her. And you know what? That's just going to be sad. That's going to be so sad when she finds out. Uh, but Ecclesley is not going to be the one to tell her. And Desiree is just hanging out here. Oh, she looks so cute. I love her hair. I absolutely love her hair. Let's get her to use the toilet. And Romy. Oh, Romy, you should be with Bradley. Why do you keep going back to Taj? It's just like the worst. Look, she's feeling so good about herself as well, which makes me even more disappointed in her. Because she's a really nice girl. Like, she should be with Bradley. Instead, she's with a guy that just screws her around or let's well, say screws all the girls. And it's just not fair. It's not fair. Oh, Ecclesley, what are you gonna do? What is she gonna do? I feel like maybe she, okay. I think she should feel a little bit better. Maybe go to the toilet. Uh, let's get her to, ooh, booby trap. Um, just have something in here. Is there anything in there? Ugh, spoiled ice cream. I don't think so. <gasps> She's gonna be so guilty. She does not want to see. Uh, she definitely does not want to see Nadia. Let's just get her maybe some cereal. And uh, yeah, let's just get her to have some cereal down here. And oh, reach level two. Oh my gosh! Uh, okay, maybe we should take that pregnancy test after all. Oh my gosh. Hey Peach, how you doing girl? Oh, it's like she knows she's about to do a pregnancy test. That's so awkward. Peach, please do not sleep. We're about to take a pregnancy test. How embarrassment. Okay, Ecclesley. She's like, okay, first of all, before I take the test, I'm just gonna eat something, okay? gonna eat something try and calm down everything's okay and I feel like because Romy is so nice Romy would probably go up to her and just be like oh, don't console about death because she's not meant to know yet maybe maybe Romy would give her a heartfelt compliment be like are you okay you look great <laughs> where is she oh Romy's on the toilet right maybe not I just want Ecclesley to take this pregnancy test already. Oh my gosh, she's so worried to take the test. It's like, I don't want to do this. What have I done? What have I done? <sighs> Calm down, girl. Let's just get it over and done with. 
Okay, have some more Fruit Loops. We will let you have some more Fruit Loops. By the way, how is this outfit? Short shorts, boob tube, bright pink heels. Damn, girl. Damn, honey. Honey's showing off her legs. Oh, gosh. This is so nerve-wracking. Okay, she's going to go take that pregnancy test. Just, oh, she's like, please, no one come in here. Oh my god. Uh, this could be a problem. <laughs> 